Hey guys, thanks for clicking this video. I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, remember to click the subscribe button, click that bell icon, and if you really want to support me, then consider being a Luke C channel supporter for $4.99 a month. You'll get loyalty badges next to your name, you'll get custom emojis, you'll get rough cuts and bloopers, you'll get discounted merchandise, connect with you on social media, and also you get your name mentioned at the start of each video, like this. Well, very good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, whatever you're doing. Today, for me, is Thursday. Uh, got a very late start today. It's actually 7 a.m. <laughs> and uh, we're just walking to the truck now. Truck's over there, look. So yeah, we're just, uh, just walking to the truck. We've got to go and deliver to Borton on the Water. Now, we did get there yesterday, but they wouldn't take the delivery, so... Uh, they wouldn't take it until eight o'clock this morning. Now it's only half an hour away, so uh, no early, uh, no early start today. So yeah, so we're going to jump in the truck. We're going to do some checks, make sure everything's all right, make sure the load is still strapped down and secure, and then uh, then I'm going to set my cameras up because they're not set up yet, <laughs> and uh, we're going to crack on with the day. Like I said, it's seven o'clock, so we can work until ten o'clock tonight. I think we've got to go to Plymouth, so uh, could be. Uh, could be a long day, don't know, no idea. We'll, uh, we'll take it as it comes. Here she is, look. Here's the truck. G15 HSH. And, uh, oh, that's sleep. Got an idea. So I'm actually only driving this truck for two more days, today and tomorrow, because I'm getting a new truck. And I, <laughs> I don't think I've shown you the new truck yet, but I can, because a little bit of a sneak peek, ready? There it is. That's my new one. That's the sneak peek. I'll, uh, I'll show you a side profile. So, as of next week, I'll be driving this one, which is G16 HSH. Nice shiny wheels. We've got to clean the tank up. The tank needs a bit of a shine. Uh, might also do the blue, uh, the, the straps blue on the, on the fuel tank as well. Um, but yeah. 106, that'll be the uh, the new truck that I drove on Monday. Chances are, by the time this vlog comes out, I've uh, been in that truck. Anyway, let's uh, do some checks on this one. I'm going around now, looking as I go around. I'm gonna get the engine started and uh, we can crack on and do some checks. Okay, so we're not too far away now. We're just pretty much around the corner from where we need to be. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, I did actually get here yesterday. Uh, I arrived about four o'clock in the afternoon, but um, they wouldn't offload me. Well, actually, <laughs> uh, when I first got here, they were like, no, nope, not for us, mate. We haven't ordered that. We haven't ordered that. Not for us. All right. Well, it's got your details on it. I said, I've got reference numbers. Do you want to take some reference numbers and see if it's your... Nah, not us, mate. Not ours. So I, uh, I made some phone calls to the boss, and um, the boss then got back to me and said, yeah, it's definitely for them. This person ordered it and uh, gave me the name of the person who ordered it. I then went back to the office and said, yeah, this person ordered it. It turns out the person I was speaking to was the person that ordered it. This is quite funny. Ah, uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I think it is for us. Yeah, it's not booked in until tomorrow though at 8 a.m. Hence why we're now turning up today at 8 a.m. rather than yesterday, so. A little bit annoying, but you know, that's transport. So yeah, we're actually uh, delivering to Hacklins and um, the, the bloke who was saying, nah, not for us, not for us, mate, not for us. He, uh, it turns out he was the bloke who actually ordered it. Um, I spoke to my boss, he gave me a name of who ordered it and that, and uh, yeah, it turns out to be to be him. Now, credit where credit is due to Hacklins, they did offer me um, the uh, the ability to park in their yard, right there. <laughs> and there's a lot more trailers in there, so I expect it would have been quite noisy. Um, yeah, so they did, they did allow me to stay in their yard, in their trailer park, for the night. But um, what with it being literally only half an hour away from our yard, um, it's either pay me £26 for a night out 
or just drive the truck back to the yard and drive it back again in the morning. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to cost 26 quid on fuel. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so a little, little bit annoying for the boss, but um, but never mind. So yeah, we we're, uh, we're going to deliver to Hacklins now. I used to deliver to that Travis Perkins a lot, and uh, this, uh, this lorry in front is actually one of the guys that I might actually know. It might be Matt. Yes, that's Matt. Matt, if you're watching, just seen you. <laughs> I know him. Uh, yeah, we used to deliver there. Well, I used to deliver there all the time, and obviously they still do. Right, um, is it clear to the right? Yes, it is. Hopefully now we can get this tipped. Um, I'm hoping we can get in, and they don't say, oh, it's actually booked in for 10 or 11 o'clock, mate. Because they, they did say, actually, to begin with, that they wouldn't tip it until 10 or 11 o'clock. Um, and then they told me it was all booked in, so... We yes. Let's go uh, speak to someone. We're going to have to stop here, I think, and then uh, go and find someone. Right, we are now... Uh, <laughs> someone, someone mentioned this the other day. They said, did you just say fully unloaded? Yes, fully unloaded. <laughs> We are fully unloaded. We are good to go. We are tipped. Um, and it is 10 to 9, so um, we got here, well, we've been here about an hour. About an hour. Not too bad. It's kind of, it's kind of like you don't really want to be anywhere more than an hour, typically. So um, you can't really complain too much at that. Would have been nice to be a bit quicker, but um, it is what it is. But yeah, they seem like really nice guys here. Um, yeah, everyone seems talkative and friendly. One one guy recognised me, so if you are watching, shout out to you. But um, yeah, so now uh, now we've got to crack on to, uh, to Tetbury, Malcourt, get reloaded, and then we are going to Plymouth. Come on, keep going. Going to Plymouth. Um, but we need we do need to get fuel, so I'm probably going to stop at the services in co-op, uh, co-op services on the, uh, the 49 Fossway Road and uh, fill up with fuel, get some, uh, get some food and drink for myself as well while I'm there, kill two birds, one stone. Looks very dark over there, which is actually the location we're heading in. It's glorious sunny weather here. I've just had to put down the shade so the sun isn't in my eye. <laughs> but where we're going, <laughs> directly in front of us, looks, uh, well, it looks a bit dark over there, doesn't it? <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's put our foot down, let's go and get some fuel. See you in a bit. Bring it up 
Right, we are loaded with bulk bags. We've got 34 bags of topsoil on, and we are going to Palladium Business Supplies in Plymouth. Uh, it's a good three hour drive there. Three hour drive. Now, we were at Tetbury for a little bit longer than we expected as well. There's something coming down. I can see that cyclist in the reflection of the, the window on the, uh, on the house opposite. I, uh, before I even saw her, I saw her re reflection. It was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so we were at Tetbury for sort of like longer than we were really expected to be. So um, I got half an hour break in while we were waiting to go in. And um, I had a 15 minute break earlier. At, um, bought it on the water as well because I undid my curtains and I was waiting 15 minutes inside the truck while they uh oh, before they even come and offloaded me so I could have uh, could have left it on to be fair and had a full full half an hour break but I switched it to other work when they started offloading me but anyway yes we're on our way to uh to port um to port on the water. we're on our way to Plymouth now uh we're going to be there for about two o'clock in the afternoon uh I, I expect or hopefully <laughs> I expect we'll be leaving about uh 3 p.m uh and then I don't think I'm going to be back tonight. I think I'm on a night out. But I actually, I haven't actually been told that yet. But I got a suspicion I will be on a night out. But if I'm if I am coming straight back then uh you know it's going to be like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. So it's going to be a late one. But I didn't start till 7 this morning. So I could work until 10 o'clock tonight. So uh yeah, we just we just get as much as we can done today. Get as far as we can, do whatever we've got to do. To get the uh, to get the job done, but I got a sneaky suspicion that uh, I'm going to be going to Avonmouth. Um, to, to what? Someone mentioned this. You're not technically Avonmouth; it's Seven Beach, but we call it the Range Avonmouth, right? So calm your knickers. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be going to Avonmouth um, Range later. I suspect to drop this trailer off to get loaded overnight, and I'll do a night out. Um, and then pick up in the morning and then go to wherever it's got to go on Friday. And if that's the case, then you're going to see tomorrow as well because I might as well do a two-day vlog and put it into one video. So yes. Anyway, we're going to crack on to uh, to Plymouth now. I'm not going to do a time-lapse because I think you've seen a bit too much time-lapse at the moment. So uh, let's just uh, head straight there. I will see you in about three hours' time. See you in a bit. Right, we are now in Plymouth. We are just a few minutes away uh, from where we are going to be delivering to. It's currently two o'clock in the afternoon. So you do join me three hours and one minute after we, uh, after we left Tetbury. It's been a, uh, been a pleasant journey down, I can say. Nice, nice and sunny, not too bright, but also no rain. So happy days, happy days. But uh, yeah, so we're just around the corner now from where we need to be. Hopefully we can get straight in. That would be nice. Turn green, come on. Finally turning green. Up here we go. Yeah, we were at those lights for quite a while then. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, it's starting to look a little bit residential down here. <laughs> yes. Hopefully uh, there's no weight limits. We should be okay. I, don't, I haven't seen any weight limits on the, uh, on the map, but you never know. One might pop up. Keep control of the dog. Don't want to be running one of them over. Right, so we want to make a left up here. We should be going into uh, some sort of industrial estate. Got a speed camera on the left there, look. 
It's a 30 mile an hour speed limit down here. And uh, yeah, so here's the industrial estate. Excellente. There we go. Okay, and then it should be just up here on the left. I'm hoping the road isn't going to be too busy with cars so we can actually park. But um, looking at it, it does look quite busy. Let's see when we actually get up there. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, we want to go here. Excellent. Loads of room. Cool, we're just going to stop here. We're going to have a word of them, see what they say. I don't know if I've got to reverse in or not. We might need to spin round and, and reverse in. But I'll go let them know I'm here anyway, and then um, we'll go from there. See you in a bit. Right, we are tipped here. Put the paperwork in. There. We've been here for... 47 minutes not too shabby we will need to I'm gonna turn the engine on we will need to have to have a break on the way up we've got uh, just over an hour's driving time left so we can make our way up and then uh, just stop somewhere for a break that is the plan anyway where are you parking because I need to get out Excellent. Right, let's whack it in reverse. It's a bit of an awkward uh, exit, this is. I just want to get as much as uh, straight line as I can before I head out these gates, because they are quite tight. Cheers, mate. Excellent. Right, we're going to indicate right. Clear right, clear left. Clear right, clear left. I don't know whether it's just me, but I always check twice when I'm looking left and right. Just to be safe. You know, we are essentially slow moving vehicles. So it's always just like, in my opinion, safer just to, you know, to check twice. Right, that van's going to come straight up. So's the car. Let's go before anyone else comes. Yeah, you can go back. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting for ages. Stop being cheeky. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're, um, we don't know exactly what we've got to do yet. Um, the boss has sort of said, make your way up the M5. Uh, I could potentially be doing the range tonight. So uh, I am prepared to do a night out at the range. Not a problem. We'll just uh, make our way up there, like I said. We need to stop for half an hour break on the way up. I'm just going to concentrate on this uh, child as I'm passing, just in case they fall over under my wheels, all clear. Yeah, so we're going to um, head up to uh, towards Bristol. We're going to um, stop and have a break on the way up and then uh, hopefully we'll know exactly what we're doing and uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, I haven't charged these microphones up in like three days, so uh, they're really good actually, solid, nice long battery life. Anyway, uh, I don't know what you heard, so uh, I went to Avonmouth, um, I phoned the range up about 10 minutes around the corner, and I gave him a reference, I said, yeah, yeah, getting loaded for Eccles, what bay do you want it dropped on, mate? Oh, that isn't getting loaded here, mate, that's getting loaded uh, in Mitchell Dean. Is that all right? I said, yeah, he goes, yeah, seven o'clock live load, Mitchell Dean tonight. And it was about half past five at this point. I was like, okay, cool. All right, no worries, let me phone my boss and we'll, uh, we'll find out what we're doing. 
anyway, we're, we're in Mitchell Dean now. <laughs> so um, because I started at 7 a.m. this morning, I can work until 10 p.m. So I've got plenty of driving time and working time. Um, so yeah, we're just going to uh, <laughs> we're going to load up here, and um, yeah, it's 10 to 7 now. Uh, and the lady who operates this place said I'm going to be 10 minutes, and I'm going to be down there, and the curtains are going to be open, and they're going to be loading me. So hopefully we'll be fully loaded and parked up by 8 o'clock. I put the destination into where we're going. It's a three-hour drive, so I'm going to be parked up hopefully by 8 a.m. I'm going to have nine hours off, uh, which will put it to uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can start at 5 in the morning, and then it's a just over a three-hour drive there, 6, 7, 8. So I can I could technically get there for 8 a.m., uh, but I don't think it's actually booked in until 1 p.m. So... We were, we're going to go there early anyway, nice and early, see if we can get tipped. Uh, and then any waste, take that back to Avermouth. We're then going to drop the trade off at Avermouth and Bobtail back to the yard solo. Tractor unit only. I'm then going to empty my truck out because I'm going to hopefully be moving into the new truck. Uh, either tomorrow or over the weekend, whenever I want to really do it, I suppose. So yeah, we're just, uh, we're just sat here now waiting to be, uh, to be loaded and then uh, we can park up for the night. Happy days. Okay, so... It took a little bit longer than uh, than ten minutes. <laughs> it's uh, it's now five past six. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it's not five past six. It's five past eight. Um, don't know why I said six. It's definitely five past eight. Um, probably because it's uh, well, I don't know. I'm losing my track. I'm losing my mind. It's Eighteen? No, twenty hundred. It's. <laughs> Man, I'm tired. It's five past eight. <laughs> okay, trust me. It's five past eight. Um, we're done. Um, I'm just going to turn my ignition on so I can uh, see my tachograph and get my mileage and work everything out. So, because we've got a clock off, we've done our uh, end of day checks. We've now parked up. We're just parked outside uh, the business park so we can crack on in the morning. It's 150 miles away, three hours and eight minutes. Uh, paperwork does say it's booked in for one o'clock, um, but I'll find out roughly what I'm going to be there in a sec. Let me just do my paperwork. Right. Put the mileage down. Finish time is going to be... I always add an extra five minutes, so we're going to say 2010. Just to be safe, just done some paperwork, so it's almost 2010 now. We've gone, we've done a nine hour drive today as well. Right, so, no, I don't need a 24 hour day because I've already done a printout, so I know what my hours are and driving time. Um, so, 10 past eight, we've clocked off. Technically, technically, you're not actually supposed to be doing any paperwork right now, or planning routes or anything like that, because you're then technically working. Uh, but yeah, 20, 20 past uh, 8, no, 10 past 8, we've clocked off, and um, 9 hour rest we're going to have, pretty much, and then it's a uh, a 3 hour drive, so basically 12 hours from now, so should be there for uh, for 8am, or half past 8, let's say, in the morning, um, I might start a little bit later, um, but I'm not going to start too much later. Nine hours off from now is going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, half past 5. So I'm probably going to get up at 6. Yeah, I think 6 is reasonable. I'm going to wake up at 6 o'clock and uh, put my card in, do my checks, and then sort of quarter past 6, uh, 20 past 6. We are going to head off. It'll be a three-hour drive and 10 minutes from there. So it'll be nine, about half past 9. About half past 9, we're going to be there. That's reasonable. That's reasonable. So see you in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. I'm knackered. <laughs> See you later. And good morning, everybody. Welcome. It is now Friday. We had a, uh, a pretty good night's sleep last night. Um, and we're just around the corner, really, from where we need to deliver. Um, right. <laughs> First thing I want to say is I didn't get up at um, six o'clock like I planned. I, uh, I decided to have a little bit of a lie-in. Um, so we actually started about half past six, but, you know, no biggie, no biggie. <laughs> I was so tired. I pretty much went straight to sleep. Right, 
We are, we're just around the corner now from uh, the range in Eccles. It's right next to Traffic Park. Having a look on Google uh, imagery last night, the entrance, or what I thought was the entrance, I need to be in the right-hand side lane, looks to be like you've got to go over a tram track to get into it. Uh, but I, on Street View, I also saw some, some no, uh, no entry signs. I don't know what lane I need. I think I need to go this lane. Yeah, I saw some no entry signs, which would indicate to me that obviously then, therefore, you cannot go through that way. And the only other way I can see is to go into the car park round to the right-hand side of the, of the buildings, and then there's like a narrow, <coughs> a narrow sort of bit of road that I'm hoping I can get through, um, which, which then leads you round to the back of of all the uh, the places where you know you deliver to, so I'm hoping that uh, that's going to be the place. Otherwise, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to reverse, but we're going to find out because we're uh, we're pretty much here. We've just got to uh, negotiate some of these uh, roundabouts. Uh, I think yeah, there's the range there. So the what I thought was the entrance, I believe, is the exit and is over there where the tram line is. Um, but like I said, I think we can just go round right round the back of the buildings, I, I hope. So let's have a look. Uh, the, uh, the other issue we have is that um, it's a delivery for one o'clock and, uh, well, it's 20 past nine. <laughs> so, um, right, no left turn. Okay, no left turn into there. That's cool, because I need to make a left turn here. This next left. I take it I'm allowed to turn left here. Yeah, I believe so. I believe so. Oh, oh, it looks quite tight. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get over. To make that turn, I'm gonna have to turn left from this lane. There we go. And then I think we turn right. I mean, the range is to the left. Ah, there's a lorry coming out. That is a good. Good shout. That's a, that's a good thing to see. That's what we wanted to see. Right. So I think, <laughs> this is all guesswork for me. I think we can go, go down here. That's a bit, bit tight down there, look. I mean, it would make sense. The range is all the way down there, and I'm hoping we can get all the way to the range around the back end of here. I'm hoping. Yeah. This was the narrow bit. On, on, uh, on satellite view, you couldn't quite see if you can get through this bit, but uh, looks like you can, so that's good. Just gonna take it nice and steady. There we go. Some road work's happening down here as well. Ah, how do I get past this then? Okay, we're stuck. Because he, <laughs> he ain't gonna move for me. He's only, just, he's only just set up all of his legs low, so he ain't gonna move. Oh, for God's sake, that's annoying. But yeah, it looks like we can go straight down here under the ranges on the left, so. Right, engine off, because uh, he's, he's seen me and he's carried on, so he ain't, he ain't interested in moving. Uh.
Right, I think, I think he's done. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I'm early anyway, so no big deal. I got a van on the side of me filled with groundwork workers and uh, they seem to think they could push in front. I don't think so. Right, so... Should be a case of going down there where those gates are. Hmm. Yeah, it's where these gates are. We've got to go in there, so we're going to have to make a phone call. And uh, I think that's... No, so you can't even go in or out this way at all. That's the... That way over there is where I thought you would come from. But it looks like you can't even get in that way. So, yeah, we've, we've done right by coming in this way. All right, I've got to make a phone call now. There's the tram I was talking about that. So yeah, we had, we had to come in the way we did. We're going to have to go out the way we come as well. I'm hoping we can spin round in there. If not, I'm going to have to reverse back and spin round here and then reverse in. Oh, right, we are tipped. Let's just put my phone away. Nice and secure. Microphone's annoying me. Microphone can go there. There we go. Right, yeah, so we are tipped, we are unloaded, and now we're gonna make our way back down towards Avonmouth. Just uh, <laughs> just had a bit of a tidy up. I don't know if you can see, Eagle Eye Drewers may be able to tell that my bedding's away. <laughs> I've uh, packed most of my stuff away. <laughs> yeah, I've packed, uh, I've packed most of my stuff away, so uh, I'm ready to... Uh, to move truck almost. I've just got a, a few more bits and bobs that need to be done and uh, and then we're good to go. We are we are empty, we've got no waste on, so it's gonna be straight back to Avonmouth, I believe, to drop this trailer off. And then um, back to the yard uh, as a solo. We're gonna have to have a break on the way down. Um, hopefully that's not gonna fall over. Yeah, we'll have to have a break on the way down and uh, so hopefully we'll be back in the yard Relatively earliest, but not too late. We've got an hour and a half of drive time left, so we can get a fair chunk down. Happy days. This is where the uh, this is where the grab lorry was. Never mind. We got in. We got out. We got in and we got out. Just make sure we can uh, actually get out of this uh, whole area now. I don't know what they're doing around here. They're obviously building something. All right, mate. You recognise me. Cheers, bud. I don't know who that is, but you watch my videos. <laughs> Hello, mate. How you doing? Right. Out we go. Is that? Is he supposed to be there? We can get out. Got enough room. Happy days, happy days, happy days, happy days, happy days. Just got to be careful of these cars because uh, we are in a customer car park now. Keep coming. Get my way there. It's when cars stop. You know, credit to them, they stop to. Uh, to give way to you, but they're actually in the way. Excellent. 
Excellent. Let's go. Yeah. Bit of an awkward junction, that. Never mind. Right, we're out of there. Let's uh, let's crack on down south <laughs> and uh, drop this trailer off. See you in a bit. Okie dokie then. So, situation update. So, the plan today was to tip this delivery up in Eccles, where we just were, near Manchester, or basically in Manchester, uh, and then bringing the trailer back down to Avonmouth, with or without waste, tip it, the waste, and then drop the trailer off and then go back to the yard um, solo, bobtail, back to the yard. Uh, that's changed. <laughs> We've, uh, we've, got to, we've got to stay with the trailer at the moment. It could change again yet, I don't know. And um, do a live load, which basically means I'm still attached to the trailer while they load it. Uh, the, the, the problem is, the problem is, we're going to be there for quarter past two and um, it might not even be ready. I mean, hopefully it is, but it might not be. So we could be there for an hour. We could be there for two hours. We could be there for three hours. We could be there for five hours. I don't know. We could be there for however long. Uh, all I know is I've got to head there, give the reference, find out if it is ready. If it's not, how long will it be until it is ready? And, uh, and then reverse on a bay and get live loaded. But um, we started, I think we started at 20 past six this morning. I'll do, I'll do a print now and just double check. So in, technically I can work until 20 past nine tonight. So um, yeah, we had a late start yesterday. We had a very late finish yesterday. I was knackered as you, as you saw. And then uh, we started about six o'clock, 20 past six, quarter past six, something like that. So uh, yeah, we can work until nine o'clock uh, at least. So uh, if we get there for quarter past two, say we need enough time to get back. So say we need to leave, uh, 20, I don't know, let's say half past seven, leave Avonmouth. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, five hours. We could easily be there for five hours, isn't it? And uh, still have enough time to get back. So. We'll see what the plan is. I do believe I've got a couple of other colleagues that are going to be in the area as well. They also need to drop trailers off and and uh, reload and deliver to places nearby. I think Andy's got to go to Shep or Chep, however you want to pronounce it. I might need to take his flatbed back. I don't know. Depends on what happens. Things are up in there at the moment. So uh, I don't really know what I'm doing other than going to Avonmouth, giving a reference and seeing how long it takes before they're ready. And then I'll message the boss. But yeah, could be a, could be a late one tonight. But it uh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's a three day weekend, so we've got plenty of time to spend at home. Gives me a bit more time to clean the truck out as well before I hand it over, so. <coughs> when I am at Ava Mouth, I'll uh, get my pink out and uh, start giving it a good old wash. So yeah, I uh, stopped at the services, I had my break. Got myself some, uh, some lunch and a drink. So uh, yeah. Just going to head to Avonmouth now, we're not too far away. I won't film too much inside, you've seen it all before. I'll, uh, I'll just see you when, we, uh, when we're actually in and we know what we're doing, if we're waiting or whatever. So I'll see you shortly. Right, so we're, uh, we're in uh, the range in Avonmouth. We've got the, uh, well, I was going to say, we've dropped the trailer off. We haven't, the trailer is still attached to the truck. We parked it on the bay, we're on bay 78. We've walked all the way to the... Uh, the goods out, gave our keys in, so uh, we can't drive off while uh, while anyone's on board. There's the truck over there. So, uh, yeah, we're just walking back to the truck now. And uh, right now it's, uh, hang on, it's 10 to 3. Apparently it's due to be loaded at uh, half past 5. So, uh, we, uh, we've got about a two and a half hour wait at least before... Uh, before we're done, well, that was the load by time anyway. As you can see, the light's still green, and a green light means no one's in the trailer, or even about to be in the trailer. What happens is when someone is in the trailer, that light there will turn red, and uh, that then means uh, they're gonna start loading me. But uh, no, we're just gonna jump in the cab and uh, get tied in. And uh, maybe even watch a film, who knows? <laughs> See you in a bit. Turn red. Turn red. Turn red. God damn it. Okay, so. <laughs> um, we got here at the range for quarter past two. 
Um, and the time now is quarter past seven. <laughs> and we're still here. So, um, yeah. Been here a while, to be fair. The light is literally... I don't know if you can see. Can you see? I can't undo my window because I ain't got my key on. I can do that. The light's literally just turned red, so... They're now going to uh, to start offloading me. But yeah, um, hmm. hopefully they're nice and quick because I'm starting to run out of time. Um, we shall see. We shall see what the situation is. Right, situation is this. We've just got our keys back. Uh, yeah, we've just got our key, keys back. We're just building up the air on the truck because obviously we've had no... Uh, well, the air's, the air's run out. We've still got to put the... Uh, seals on and i've got to quickly sign this as well and then we're going to get on out of here we're going to meet someone on the way uh yeah let me just sign that so that's done can't move yet because uh i need some air Right, Ugh. we've just spent we just spent five to ten minutes uh, strapping all up, putting the seals on. Now we can get going. We are. Uh, my colleagues are uh, parked up around the corner, so I've got to grab both the paperwork as well. So we're going to do that in a second as well. Right. Out we go. Hey Siri, call Andy. Yeah, just leave it now, so uh, be ready. Are you jumping out or? <laughs> right, see you later. Yeah. Right, so we've got the paperwork. Uh, we've just got to basically uh, get as far as we can now. Uh, and then uh, we'll get rescued and uh, head back from there, really. So, uh, I'll, uh, I'm probably going probably to end the video here, actually, because uh, we're pretty much done for the day. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. You probably can't see me anyway. That's another reason why I'm going to have to end the video. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I love you. Bye-bye.